You okay, kid? Oh, I never met him. Thinking about Dev? No, I'm just gonna let Scarecrow down there. Never noticed that there before. Could swore it just moved, man. A bit of wind. Is that where I can hear it morning and all? Think he's all right? Well, you could say he's outstanding in his field. Uh, I can't move my arms. I'm paralysed. Dr Glover, would you care to assist? Hi. How much of last night do you remember, Butch? Did he have an accident? I think I could manage an accident like you. <sighs> I, did, I, did, I didn't hit anyone then. Now, do you remember? Remember what? So, how was the party? Um, fine. Yeah, it's fine. Who was there? Um, village people. What, as in YMCA and in the Navy? <laughs> what? Never mind. And who are you with? Mandy. I spent the evening with Mandy. Nobody else. All right. Um, Chris? Uh, Mandy's got a cousin, hasn't she? The one who's on the run from the law, or the other who's sadly still with us. That's Butch, isn't it? Yeah. Can you imagine whispering a name like that in a moment of passion? <laughs> <laughs> no. No, I can't. Well, that's a good start to the year. You mean you slept through? Oh, no, not that. Mummy's gone. Hasn't she? Packed her bags and fled into the night. Have you any idea what I've given up for you? Of course I have. It was New Year's Eve, that's all. There's never a that's all with a man and a little tart like that. I'll do the cellar. We'll talk later. I thought we might. Did you see them kissing last night? Oh, you saw them. He said it was New Year's Eve. You mean you've spoken to him about it? Well, no wonder he was quiet this morning. Well, of course I've spoken to him about it. I'm not having him show me up with some young slapper. Oh, you mean Terry? Oh, no, I wouldn't worry about that. She were only a kid. I mean, men like proper women, not lasses. Well, I do hope so. So do I. Well, you'd never believe there's a wild party here last night, would you? You cleaned it all up. Shouldn't that be Pollard's job? I wanted to get opened. If you wait around for Eric to... It's opening on New Year's Day. Extra strong coffee, hot toast, perfect for hangovers. Are you sure you're up to it? <gasps> Why not? Sarah, look at this. We are still under the tree last night. It felt like he was still there with me. It's lovely. Right then, coffee on the house. First customers of the new year. So, what's happening with the farmhouse? I thought you're moving out tomorrow. Oh, uh, we are. Looks like we're going to have to move into a caravan. Jack's putting up a caravan at the new farm, just as a temporary base, so we can be on the spot. Yeah, and keep an eye on the builder. <laughs> Chance would be a fine thing. <laughs> so, have you got a completion date? Uh, well, uh, we have to go and see him about that, don't we, Jack? Uh, yeah, that's right. You know, I really envy you. New start and all that. Yeah, Butch? Oh, no, I can't. Sort yourself. Go on, then. Here, Butch. Uh, you know, if you wanted to hide a car somewhere around here, where would you stash it, like? Why? Are you planning a job? Nah, of course not. Cos if you are, you know, you can count me in. I don't know. Any ideas, then? This is a post office. We could knock that over. I mean, for hiding a car. Oh, yeah. Yeah, there's some outbuildings about a mile down the road. Do you want me to show you? No, it's all right. I'll have a walk down myself later. Nice. 
Oh, aye. Uh, we are going all dressed up, then. That bird from last night. Lisa's mates for you again, then, Dad. You mean you knew her already? So, sorry, Dad. I forgot. Well, the bet's off. Hey, there were no chimp rules. There weren't no rules. Well, there you go, then. 100 quid now. Where's that been? Just down the road. Well, now you're here, you can pay Zach for that bet. Oh, I was I to know all that talk about you being the best convict with Totty since the Birdman of Alcatraz were just talk, eh? And that Ginger here had pinched my lass. Just pay up. Later. I'll have some dough in a day, so you'll get it, don't worry. No, unless you want your nose hanging in a sling. <laughs> there you are. There you go, son. Jeez. Hey, uh, you didn't uh, make any promises. Promises? Well, uh, to marry her, or out stupid. Once a lass gets her hooks into prime dingo flesh, but who worry it? Dad. Oh, first time. Can you remember it? Oh, that's all. Like it were yesterday. Mum were yesterday. And I can't. All right, all right. Yeah, yeah, well, I'm off, mate. Oi. I hope you're sharing your half with her. She knows nothing about that bet, Albert Dingle. And she'd better not find out. Oh, lovely. Have you seen Tom? He's out today. Oh, never said anything to me. No, well, it is difficult to talk with somebody's tongue halfway down your throat. I saw you last night, and so did a lot of other people. It was a New Year's kiss, that's all. He's a teacher. Your teacher. He's a friend. My friend. Well, then why don't you behave like a friend? <gasps> I behave how I want. You're 16. Just. He's a man. A grown-up. Did your mother never tell you about men? And you think she's in the position to give me advice? <laughs> I'm not like her. And Tom's not a dirty old tow rag like Terry. Did you see how she was dressed? I'm amazed at Vic letting her out like that. Not how she's dressed that's the problem. It's why she's dressed like that that worries me. Thank you. I realise how uh, difficult it must be for you to come to terms with. Only a few days ago there was so much joy. And now there's so much sadness. Mrs. Glover, is it Catherine I should be speaking to about arrangements, or you? Uh, her name's Cathy. I'm sorry, Cathy. Of course, you'll have your shirts to wash. But it's a beggar to get out dry this weather, stuff all over the house. Well, I don't think Vicka needs to know about our Dave shirts and that. She's, um, she's feeling the strain a bit. I understand. Look, if you'd rather I came back at a different time, that's fine. It's just the hymns and so on. Oh, God, that's our David you're talking about. Oh, Dad. <laughs> oh, come on. Come on. <laughs> I'm sorry. He's, he's just taking it bad. Well, it affects different people in different ways. Mrs. Glover. You know, we used to spend all winter with a clothes horse in front of the fire. What the hell do you think you're doing? Um, nothing. Well, do you mind hanging on here a minute? No, sure, no problem. Good. I'm sure the police won't take long. The police? But we're only looking for... Jewellery? A safe? Video recorders? Sophie. Now, why would you be looking for Sophie? It's personal. What could possibly be personal between you and her? What's he doing here? He lives here. <laughs> You. Well, he says, he says you and he. Uh... Well, tell him, Sophie. What's to tell? I 
I've got to get James inside. Sorry. Oh, it's just, it's just that my daddy reckoned that, um... Well, aren't you going to kiss her goodbye? Look, I, I'm sorry if I embarrass you, like. It's just that I can't remember out about last night. <laughs> I knew it was too good to be true, any road. See you. You didn't? No. Of course I didn't. <laughs> Thanks. Tom, I really enjoyed last night. Yeah, so did I. Be nice to go somewhere the old village isn't watching. I don't think that's a good idea. Oh. Look, Kelly, I'd love to, but... You know what I mean? No one need know, not if we're... Hey! Oh, you two aren't off somewhere, are you? No, no, just come back. W well, I have. Been out. Kelly and I are going to have a spot of lunch. Uh, have some with us if you want. No, thanks. I've got some work to catch up on. Thanks, though. Yeah, no problem. It's on the table, Kel. There's no one else I can talk to, Tom. OK, this afternoon. Five o'clock, down by the bridge. No one will see us there. I made a right fool of myself, didn't I? What's up, daft? I feel so... I don't know... Helpless. And I've never felt helpless before. Out of my depth, yeah, bringing up three kids, but... It was all as summit as could be sorted. Things will come right, you'll see. What do you mean, your mum? I mean, my mum deals with it in her own way. That's what we reckon, anyway. Yeah, but what about Dave? Things that can't be put right, you know. Things that were said and never unsaid. Look, Dave knew you loved him, Dad. And right now, all that matters is he'll want us to get on with his life and make a success of things. Yeah, well, right now I don't feel like going on with my life. Oh, God, I know I should be bringing a show on for you a lot, but I can't. Hey, come on. I just can't do it, Roy. Oh, I am popular this morning. Not with me, you're not. Sorry? What was that little display with young Kelly last night? But it was just... It's a good job there were a lot of folk about, as I might have needed a bucket of cold water. It was a New Year's kiss. Harmless. That kid is daft about you, and if you can't see that... Of course I can. But we are trained to deal with things like this. Look, Betty, I know what it looks like, but I promise you it's not a problem. Let's see that it stays that way. Else new digs won't be the only thing you're looking for. I know how to use Seth's shotgun. You left your bedroom in a mess or what? Light of my life. I've missed you, Zach Dingle. Hey, it was only last night. Uh, if I hadn't have had to go back to my pigs, we'd have still been entwined in love's embrace. We would. Oh, let's go back to your place now. Nah, too many people about. What do you suggest then? Look, we're driving the country. Oh. Bet you know all the lovers' lanes. <laughs> One or two, aren't they? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing like starting the new year with a bang, is there? <laughs> hey, a bang? That'll be a van backfiring. I'll tell you about that, Zach. We'll be off to then. We? Hi. We? I bet there's a pub involved. I bet they're in. He loves a bet, you know, does our Zach. He'll bet on out. Dogs, horses, romantic encounters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, come on then, Albert. I suppose you'd like to see a bit of the countryside before you go back to prison. He's coming. Ah, well, why not? It'd be nice and cosy. Me and my brother, the prettiest lass in Bale. Come on. So, what are you in prison for? It was a simple case of mistaken identity. Ah, he was stuck an undercover cop for one of the gangs. Ah, well, she tricked me, didn't she? 
I always were a sucker for a pretty face. Some of me and Zach have had in common for years, that. Must be terrible for you being cooped up inside without female company. Ah. I had to fend for Zach when he were a babby. I mean, somebody had to put bread into his little mouth. Well, it led me down that long, lonely road that leads to a life of crime. Oh, Albert. That's terrible. I'm surprised to find you open. Why does everybody think I'd rather be in my flat moping? A lot of people would. Listen, I made a mistake yesterday. I thought you weren't up to it, so I went to see Ned about the funeral. And? Dave saved my baby. I'd like to show my appreciation. I offered to pay for the funeral, but they just told me to sling my hook. We'll manage, Frank. With all respect, I don't think David would thank us for taking your money. Um, excuse me a minute. Um, you were here last night, weren't you? I was. Did you happen to notice if um, I made a bit of a fool of myself? There was a lot of people made fools of themselves last night, love. Oh, so nobody saw if um, I got up to anything silly? So, no. Oh. Heard? Now that's different. Oh. Just over there is the very spot where I won the Yorkshire Bernacle Championship in 1984. Hey, you know, if you look careful, you can still find Lass's teeth. <laughs> that Lass was 15 stone of bone and brawn called Jim Metcalf. Known across the Dales as Mad Jim. But I took him. Very impressive. Are we going soon? It's hard to credit a man can be so strong, and yet so gentle. Hmm. Ah, to celebrate, I rode a motorbike down that slope there, flat out. What's special about that? Backward. So, uh, how many pigs have you got then, Lisa Love? <laughs> Hello, Love. What are you doing? Tea's just about ready. Get yourself in that bathroom before our David gets in. You know what he's like after football practice. You what? Well, he'll say he's not dirty, but you know a hygiene queen Al Linda's becoming. Um, look, love, you can have a lie down here and I'll do tea. A lie down? Yeah, well, little Roy's met some scones at school for a surprise later. Oh. Oh, right. Well, yeah, it's hard. I have got a bit of headache. Well, that was a good start. What? Someone you know seeing us. Are you ashamed of being seen with me? Uh, no. <laughs> but it would look suspicious. Us meeting out here. I don't care what people think. I do. Do you want me to go? No. I just don't want you to think... I don't know. I just want you to understand. When you kissed me last night... It was New Year's Eve. I'd had a drink. Didn't you enjoy it? Yes, but... I'm lonely. You've got friends. You've got me. Have I? Really? Of course. <laughs> You're just saying that. No. So last night meant something to you too? Just hold me, Tom. It's been the best New Year's Day ever. It would have been if it had just been me and you. Albert's a sweetie. Albert is a complete... Can we mention not... my name? <laughs> Can't you wait in the van? By gum, it's a right spread you've got here, lass. Must have a big mortgage. Not a penny. I don't believe in her, in me. Oh, really? Don't you even think about it. Think what? Out! 
Right. Did you ever know again, Jack's man? wife, Nelly? You two would have got on famously, you know. I've met her and we don't. Things she did to Zach. He's told me the whole story. Oh, aye. Well, he's always been good at telling stories, as our Zach. Well, did, you, did he tell you he was a gambling man as well? Are you trying to tell me that's what drove Nelly away? Oh, I'm not going to say that, but, I mean, while you're both being so honest with each other, I thought you ought to know about his uh, odd little weakness. When Zach's with me, he has no time for little weaknesses. Mm. Get in van! Right. I'll come tomorrow, my sweet. Alone. I'll be waiting. <coughs> Sorry, my hand slipped. It's nice having a secret. All the girls fancy you, you know. Don't be silly. <laughs> I'd be dead jealous if they knew. Kelly, you can't tell anyone. Please. Oh, no! What? I think that was Eric Pollard. We ought to get back. No, please. I can't stand a night with my dad. We can't stay here. I know somewhere where we can go. No, K Kelly, we ought to get back. Just for half an hour. <laughs> Has Dad tried to get his mum to see the doctor again? Ah, uh, she said she didn't ill, so what's the point? Here. These are on the house. Cheers, mate. I think we should have a toast. We did that last night, Biff. Well, I'll call it more of a celebration. Biff, I really don't think Linda, doing... I've been trying to do it for years. But you've done it. Huh? Yesterday, Linda sort of came out and she's left. According to Terry. She did a runner last night. See? Now that I will drink to. I've got on enough for you! Get out of that man! Get out! You have ruined my day! I know what that's after. That's after a big farm. You came between me and my Nelly. What happened last Christmas? I want to know! No, I swear it. You can always turn her head, you! No, not just her head either. No! Not me, you. Not me face. Uh. Oh, Zach. Oh, I think I might have saved me a walk. Happy New Year, Albert. Tom. Your dad'll be worrying. I don't want to think about him. This is about us. Me and you. Nobody ever know. <laughs> 